Welcome to Vietnam Untold. Today, in the spotlight is the talented actor and martial artist Jonathan K. Quan, as the first Vietnam-born actor to win an Academy Award, who has captured the hearts of audiences worldwide with his unforgettable performances. His journey to Hollywood success has been amazing, as he quit acting for 20 years because no one would hire him. But the inspirational 51-year-old actor never gave up on his dreams and has made an incredible comeback, winning Best Actor in a Supporting Role at the 2023 Oscars for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Known for his roles in iconic films like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and The Goonies, Jonathan's on-screen charisma and versatility have solidified his place in Hollywood. Watch us as we delve into the fascinating journey of Jonathan K. Kwan and explore his contributions to the entertainment industry and beyond. Born on August 20, 1971, in Saigon, South Vietnam, Jonathan K. Kwan experienced a turbulent childhood amid political upheaval. Hailing from a family of Chinese descent, he grew up alongside eight siblings, cherishing the values of unity and strength instilled by his parents. In 1978, at seven, Jonathan, his father, and five siblings embarked on a perilous journey, escaping to Hong Kong as boat people. Meanwhile, Jonathan's mother and three other siblings sought refuge in Malaysia. In Hong Kong, Jonathan and his family found temporary solace in a refugee camp for a year, then settled in California, where they began rebuilding their lives. And Jonathan starting building his acting career. As he entered adulthood, Jonathan's thirst for knowledge, and artistic growth led him to pursue higher education at the Southern California College of Motion Picture Arts. Imbued with a desire to refine his skills and expand his understanding of the cinematic craft, he dedicated himself to his studies, laying the groundwork for a successful career in the film industry. While Jonathan's passion for acting was evident, he also found inspiration in martial arts. Under the tutelage of the esteemed Chinese martial artist Han Tao Liang, Jonathan delved into the world of Taekwondo. He honed his skills with unwavering dedication and discipline, embracing the art form's principles of self-control, physical fitness, and mental fortitude. In 1983, at the age of 12, Jonathan accompanied his brother to Los Angeles to audition for the adventure film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. His appearance and elegant demeanor caught the attention of renowned director Steven Spielberg, who ultimately selected him for the role of Short Round, the child assistant to the protagonist Indiana Jones, portrayed by the legendary Harrison Ford. This breakthrough opportunity allowed Jonathan to work alongside Hollywood's elite, and embark on an unforgettable adventure during the filming process in Sri Lanka. To this day, he cherishes those moments as the best adventure of his life. Following the success of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, Jonathan was invited to portray Richard Data Wang in the top-rated children's film The Goonies in 1985. This early success positioned him as one of the promising young talents in Hollywood, fueling his love for cinema. However, as Jonathan entered his teenage years, acting opportunities, especially in Asian cast, became increasingly limited. He secured minor supporting roles in various projects, including the television series Together We Stand, the sitcom Head of the Class, and films such as Breathing Fire and Encino Man. The scarcity of roles for Vietnamese American actors in the US further complicated his career path. In 1986, he appeared in the Japanese movie Passengers, with the Japanese idol singer Honda Minako. He played Sam on the short-lived TV series Together We Stand, 1986-1987, and played Jasper Kwong in the sitcom Head of the Class from 1989-1991. to He also starred in the movies The Goonies, 1985, and Breathing Fire, 1991, and had a cameo in Encino Man, 1992. He last appeared on screen in the 2002 Chinese movie Second Time Around alongside Ekin Chang and Cecilia Chung. Despite his best efforts, Jonathan's visibility in the industry gradually waned over the years. As a result, he decided to transition away from acting and instead focused on behind-the-scenes roles. Having studied Taekwondo under Philip Tan on the set of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, he later trained under Tao Liang Tan. He worked as a stunt choreographer for X-Men and the one as the assistant of renowned Hong Kong fight choreographer Corey Yuan. Having been away from the spotlight for nearly four decades, Jonathan's return to Hollywood has sparked immense excitement among fans and industry professionals. His role in Everything Everywhere All at Once has generated a feverish buzz throughout the entertainment industry, subsequently won him the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Time magazine honored Jonathan by including him in their prestigious list of the 100 most influential people in the world for 2023, acknowledging his significant contributions to the film industry. 
Jonathan's success inspires aspiring actors and represents a milestone for Asian representation in Hollywood. His remarkable journey, from a child star in the 1980s to his recent achievements as an adult actor, highlights his perseverance, talent, and dedication to his craft. As K. Hui Jonathan continues to make waves in the industry, fans eagerly anticipate his future projects and await his next on-screen performance. Thank you and see you next program. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe now for all you need to know about Vietnam and Vietnamese Americans. Thank you.